I wanted to go through a timeline where we actually incorporated some of the suggestions that you guys had from uh, Thursday's class and some clarifications in terms of how we actually will go through this whole presentation review process and generation of discussion questions and so on. So this is just representing a timeline in which the day of presentation is shown here, where the person who is picking out the article to present actually does the presentation piece itself. So there's a separate video that describes that process. Um, that person will also submit their science journaling um, uh, submission as well on that same article. Okay, but what happened beforehand? So three days before the presentation, then what would happen is that the presenter sends out the email to everybody and um, uh, to the entire class that, uh, so that, the art, that everybody in the class has access to the article. Then what will happen is that the discussion question author, somebody who has been assigned to actually um, to come up with discussion questions on that particular person, and there's two of them, will be uh, generating two discussion questions. So try to be really thoughtful in those types of questions that you have. This person or these, these two people have two days, basically, to generate these types of questions and then submit the questions to me or, and also the presenter. So now the presenter will be ready to, uh, in case you have a, like, you know, to address your particular question that you might have and incorporate it into their presentation or be ready for it in the Q&A section of what, when they're presenting. So then you actually have the day of presentation and then the author would try to, uh, to address some of those questions in there. It doesn't have to be exhaustive, but the point of these different types of discussion questions is to help facilitate sort of uh, knowledgeable types of, of uh, in, engagement in the particular topic and also help you know, give some uh, reward for those who are actually reading the articles closely and thinking about it. One week after presentation, the peer reviewer, these are different people, peer reviewers will share feedback with the presenter and the professor. And so they'll be doing that through a Google Docs. Um, so how does this, how does, what does this look like um, in terms of what we have here? So I've updated the list of uh, assigned readings, who's actually got uh, the dates assigned here. So we're running straight through from going from February 5th all the way to the 21st. So Sarah Sinita, for example, here on the 5th of February uh, will three days before her presentation, so on February 2nd, will email the class the article. And the person who's going to author the discussion questions, McCarthy and Winnie, will now have two days to be able to generate their discussion questions and then share them with me and the author. So that's right here. Then the peer reviewer, Zost and uh, Jogsheimer, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing your name correctly, I'm sorry if I, I didn't, have a week to basically go through and um, generate the peer review um, of that particular type of, um, that, of that presentation. So, um, and these will all be shared by Google Docs. So that's just an outline of how this process will work in terms of uh, what that looks like. I'll send, submit another video that will show you uh, guys how to fill out the Google Docs or you know how to title the Google Docs or else we'll discuss it directly in our class when we meet tomorrow.